Love is strong, it will keep us warm throughout the storm that's coming. Hello and welcome everyone to Vlogmas Day 16. So today I want to do something that isn't a vlog because I've done this the past two years and you requested it for this year as well. Today I'm going to show you some 1670s inspired outfits for Christmas. So before we get into the video, let's have today's tea. It smells really, really nice. It's called Winter Apple and it has wild apple and rose hip. Oh, I feel like, like this, you can see the little Santa head. But surprisingly, wait, it doesn't really taste like much. It does taste sort of like apple, but very watery. It's kind of like that tea from a couple of days ago that smelled so much more than it tasted like. So, yeah. I don't know how to feel about this one, honestly. But, but I'm just gonna put this to the side. Okay, so let's start with some outfits. All of these outfits are very inspired by the 1960s and 70s and different trends of that time. I tried to like put some different options, however, all of these are very dressy and they all feature the season colors red and green. So yeah, let's get into it. Maybe let's start with an outfit that I actually thrifted a couple of days ago with you. It is all based around this dreamy little silky mini dress it's not even that mini but i feel like with these shift dresses they always seem a little longer but because kind of because they get so short when you raise your arms i love this one it's such a beautiful color very like christmasy for me christmas is like gold red and green so i just love this dress i said i thrifted it a couple of days ago and since I haven't tried it on for you yet, because when I tried it on the dressing room, I didn't show you that, I figured that this would be the perfect outfit to start with. So the first thing that I added was a pair of tights. I kind of wanted to go in a darker direction, so I added these deep green ones. I really, really love them. I feel like this is such a nice shade of green. The 60s were really loud colorways. There were a bunch of bright colors, but these muted kind of tones, these deep, dark colors were really popular as well, especially during the end of the decade. To match the deep dark, I went with this bow. It is so big. I absolutely love it. It's like a little hair clip. I just attach this to the back of my head. I feel like you could also do like a beehive kind of a look with this or like a Bridget Bardot inspired bun, but I just kind of like to do a half up to a situation with this. Then because it is Christmas and it is a little cold, I added this cape. This is a fake fur cape. Uh, and what I really love about it is that it has these two satin ties in the front that you can just kind of tie into a big bow. Then for shoes, I went with some flats because a lot of these outfits also feature heels. I decided to go with flats for this one. Um, they're just golden. I feel like with the shoes, I'm just not gonna say a bunch about it because yesterday I like uploaded a video telling you a bit about every single shoe that I own. So I'm just gonna link that here in case you're interested. And yeah, for earrings, I wanted to do these ones. They're kind of like baubles, I feel like. And they're so beautiful with the green. And I felt like with the green and the gold, they really much tied the outfit together. And then last but not least, since this outfit is kind of dressy, I also went with this purse. I also thrifted this recently with you. It like has a little matching coin purse on the inside. It is from the 1960s. And yeah, I really, really love this bag. And I felt like it was the perfect fit for the dress. Moving on with a red outfit. I feel like there's going to be a lot of red in this video. But for this outfit, I kind of wanted to do something a little bit more casual. So I went with this dreamy little red dress. It kind of has like a very nice neckline. Then it's like ruched on the sides and it has like a little balloon sleeve moment. I love this dress. I thrifted it last year and has this dreamy little flower pattern. So I felt like this was more of like a day dress. It's not quite as dressy as some of the other ones that I'm gonna show you. So I decided to style this in like a more casual and also just a little younger of a look. I went with these tights. These are Mott shoes tights. 
They're like a little thicker, wide, and ripped, and I felt like they would just go perfectly with the look. As an accessory, I went with this headband. I recently got this on Vinted. However, it's not vintage, like it has a little elastic in the back. It's a fake for headband. These kind of headbands were so popular in the 60s, and I feel like they are a great alternative to like the fur head because it's just not as hot. If you like live somewhere where it's just not that cold, these like big fur head can make your head sweat so much like this is a great alternative and it also works well if you like want to do a little hairstyle to add a little bit of fun to this outfit i went with these little earrings i think they're so cool i got them rather recently these aren't vintage but i figured they were just so cute and they kind of like have a very vintagey look with that kind of material and the tinsel and then to just round up that look i went with some red shoes these are just some red vinyl Mary Janes that I got gifted a couple of years ago. You always ask me where you can buy the dresses I own and usually I can't really tell you because they're vintage. However, with this next outfit, you can actually shop it. It's a beautiful 1960s style of dress made from a dark black velvet, some see-through balloon sleeves and then it has this beautiful front part and it actually closes with like little pearls coming through. And this dress is by the belated beatnik. I'm just gonna link that in the description box. There's also a coat that you can use if you wanna shop from them. This dress is so dreamy. And the wonderful thing about this brand is that you can actually reach out to her and not only order by size, but order to your perfect like measurement. So everything just is so dreamy on. I love this dress. I feel like it's the perfect 1960s cocktail dress. It is so, so amazing. These are also handmade. It's a small business. So if you're looking for a special dress this Christmas, make sure to check out the belated beatnik. I believe this dress also comes like in a deep dark red in case you're interested in that. So yeah, because the dress alone is already such a standout piece, I kept it simple with some silver shiny shoes. These are dance shoes and I love them. They're from the 60s. And then because with this dress I felt like anything on the arms or like a necklace would really work, I wanted to do some really cool earrings and I ended up going with these. They're like little Christmas wrenches with a bell. They're so beautiful. I feel like that tinsel look once again just makes them look very 60s. Continuing with another red look, I also thrifted this rather recently with you. It is the first time that I'm like owning a suit set and it's not quite a suit, it's a skirt and a beautiful little jacket that goes with it. I now know that like this little style of the skirt down here is a cellar fold. And I honestly think this is so beautiful. It's a little tad big on me. Like the jacket is just a tiny bit big on me. However, I love it. I feel like it's kind of a 1960s stewardess on Christmas duty. Has like a little belt. It's so perfect. This is definitely also perfect for like a 70s look. And so yeah, I really wanted to style this for Christmas as well. So obviously, the suit on its own is amazing, but I felt like I needed something for underneath because at one point I'm probably gonna take off my jacket. So I have this vintage Betty Barclay blouse that is just very dreamy and it has these two front bits that you can actually tie into a big bow, which I think is absolutely dreamy because it kind of peeks out over the collar of the jacket. For shoes, I went with these. Uh, these are very old, 1920s, 30s or 40s. Can't quite date them back. I actually took them to the cobbler and he said probably 30s. Uh, but yeah, they're amazing. Just like some lace up black boots. I felt like they would just work really, really nicely with the look. It's like a very Santa Claus kind of look, but I really like it. This look also needed a little bag. I went with this white one. I wanted to add a beret just to kind of tie it together because I feel like this is an outdoorsy look, if that makes sense. And I just really love how this outfit came together. Honestly, I feel like it's such a cool look and it's a little more unique than all of the mini dresses because if I'm being honest, everything else that I'm showing you is a mini dress. I also have maxi dresses, but because I've done this video two times before, I try to change it up every year. So if you want to see maxi dresses, long skirts or pant options, I'm just gonna link these other videos here. They're basically the same concept. <laughs> and I feel like with all of that, you have like 20 ideas on what you can wear for Christmas, so hopefully there's something for you there. 
let's keep it going with another black dress. So with this one, I kind of wanted to go for a more party kind of look. Like I kind of imagine a girl who's like maybe in her early 20s, just moved out, has a city apartment downtown in London. She maybe works at Biba or something. She goes home for Christmas to be with her parents, but then after Christmas dinner, she wants to go out. That's kind of the look. So I went with this dress. What I love about this dress is that it is so simple. It has that kind of like very festive detail and then it's also see-through. It's such a cool look. Uh, I thrifted this last year too, I believe. It's by Joby. Yeah, I got this on Vinted for like five bucks, ten bucks. It was a great steal, honestly. And then with it, I just paired some black boots. These are by Vivaia. I also have a code for that. I'm just gonna put that in the description box for you as well. They have amazing knitted shoes, which was popular in the 60s. And what I really like about these is that these are like the perfect tight black boot. I also added a headband in gold. Recently I've been in kind of like a headband phase. So yeah, I figured that this one would be perfect. It's also like shiny, shimmery and golden. And then because she goes out and she's probably like gonna need some cash, maybe like a notebook, a little bit of makeup, I added this bag. This one's actually from my grandma and I love it so much. I feel like this is such a timeless design. Honestly, I feel like you could even see this at like a store now and no one would know that it is 60 years old. It's just such a perfect look. And then in here, I just also have some earrings. I love these. I feel like these two look like little Christmas ornaments and they're just great for the ears, honestly. So, so dreamy. I really love statement earrings, if you couldn't tell. And then last but not least, I have another dress for you that I also found on Vinted. It is by Miracle Eye. They don't make this exact dress anymore. It's like a handmade small business from the US, but they have similar styles. I love this one so much with all the ruching and the deep red. I felt like this would be the perfect look for Christmas Eve. Um, yeah, so I really wanted to style this. With it, I also wanted to go with white tights. However, not as thick as the white one from the red dress. I felt like that was a little too casual for this kind of look. So I went with this pair of tights. This is like a very see-through white and it has this dreamy detailing down here that is kind of like around the ankle. What I love about this one is just how unique it is, honestly. I got this thrifting, it is an original tight from the 1960s and it is still in great condition. Which honestly just goes to show you that pieces that have a great quality can be worn for like 60, 70 years. I also wanted to add some little earrings to this and these are actually Christmas ornament earrings. My mom made these like 10 years ago and I still have them because I just feel like they're really cool honestly. And then this outfit too needed some shoes and I felt like these were the only ones that were appropriate. Some suede 1960s heels, like a dreamy detailing, a little bow, just perfect for Christmas Eve honestly. I also feel like with all of these outfits, you could add like a fur coat, some sort of dressy coat to just make them warmer, depending on what you're doing on Christmas Eve and how you're actually spending that day. So yeah, that's it. These are the outfits that I want to share with you this year. We're definitely going to do this next year as well. I feel like it's a tradition at this point. But yeah, um, how do you like the outfits? Let me know what you think, which one of these was your favorite. Also, let me know what I should wear on Christmas Eve because I'm so torn. I love all of these looks, honestly, I cannot decide. For us, on Christmas Eve, we do like all the parents, like my parents, my boyfriend's parents, basically all of Teddy Boy's grandparents get together. Then Germany Christmas is like a three day kind of thing. 24th is that, then 25th. We are gonna be with my boyfriend's side of the family, like all the aunts and uncles. What can I wear to dad? And then the 26th, we're going to be with my dad's side of the family, which is like his friends, basically. So yeah, I'm interested in hearing your opinions. What can I wear on which of these days? I'm not nursing Teddy Boy during the day anymore, which is a little sad because it means that he's growing up, but it is really amazing in terms of clothing because it means I can wear pretty much everything. I don't have to like wear something that I can nurse in. So yeah, I'm so excited to just get to know your opinions. And honestly, this is like the video that always gets me into the Christmas mood. So now I'm very much set. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. 
If you're looking forward to a vlog, don't worry. There is one coming tomorrow. We have some beautiful things planned tomorrow. A little bit of family time, a little trip to the forest. Um, yeah, so make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss out on that. Also, if you are unsure what to wear on Christmas, send me pictures, tag me in your pictures. I would love to help you out and tell you how amazing you look. I hope you have a beautiful day. Go out, enjoy the sunshine. Take yourself some time to focus on you and your mental health today. And I will catch you in tomorrow's video. Bye, everybody.